What's up everybody, Sentinel101 here. If you're like me, you remember back in the day, there used to be a method to get the best horse in the game, arguably the Missouri Foxtrotter, by creating save points and loading and saving and walking and running and loading and saving and trying to find a dead horse that wasn't dead. We're not going to do that because I've got you covered with the best methods possible. In this video, I will show you how to get the Missouri Fox Trotter, the supposedly patched Black Arabian, the White Arabian, and the American Standard Bread. Please like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, first up is also the most elusive and hardest to get one on this list. It's the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Fox Trotter. As you can see on the screen, please make a save point before you start this mission. It will help you in the end because getting it on the first try is damn near impossible. This is Acadia for Amateurs Part 3. If you need help trying to get through the other parts of this mission, let me know and I'll help you out. But they're fairly simple and straightforward. Shouldn't be too difficult. For this mission, follow along with the prompts. Do what it tells you. Herd these horses back towards Mason and keep an eye on the fox trotter. Tapping the R button will highlight the track you're looking at. So try to get them lined up in such a way that you can see the fox trotter's track by itself. Focus on it, press right button, and then just keep an eye on it. As you can see, once it's highlighted, you'll be able to see the tracks on the ground aside from the highlighted swirly track thing that you can see when you're in tracking mode. The way to deal with the tracking bar diminishing or depleting on you is just to go back into tracking mode by tapping or clicking in both of the thumbsticks. So what's going to happen here is there's going to be a cutscene and you have to go towards Mason to complete this quest. Please make sure that your tracking bar is full before you get close enough to go into the next cutscene. It'll help you track the horses once you go back out of the cutscene. Make sure you skip the cutscene because your tracking bar is counting down in the background. Immediately call your horse. Don't run, walk towards it unless you know how to keep your tracking bar full. Get on your horse, highlight the track and make sure you can follow it and then just follow the track. The only thing you really want to be careful of here is that your tracking bar never runs out. So if it starts to get a little closer running out, it will actually turn red on you. You can kind of see here that I never let it turn red. I do not want to risk losing this track because if you lose it, you have to start all over again. There will be times where the track seems to disappear into a hill. Just continue in the same line and you should find it on the other side. Look around if you don't. This can be an extremely frustrating task, but stay cool, keep the track focused, and follow it carefully. If you lose it, track back, try to find it again, and keep going. You can do this. To give you a rough estimate, this took me about five minutes, but there she is. The goal now is to get your horse alongside of it at a slow enough pace or matching pace well enough that you can jump to the other horse. This is not easy, trust me, <laughs> you're going to see me fail a whole lot trying it here. But just keep trying, stay patient and whatever you do, just don't lose track of the horse because you're pretty much home free at this point. That is it though, boys and girls. All we have to do now is get alongside, hop on it, tame it, and take it to the stables. Do not try to saddle this horse in the wild and don't get off it until you get it saddled at the stable. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Nice work, you cool person, you. <laughs> You've managed to catch yourself the coolest horse in the game. The Missouri Foxtrotter. Silver Dapple Pinto. Thank you. 
Next up, we have the Black Arabian Horse. This one spawns randomly at an instance in Saint-Denis, so you want to be there just before midnight and make yourself a save game that you can reload just before midnight. Now, turn around and load that save game and head to this location. Highly recommend creating a save point somewhere about a block away so you're not that far away from the spot when you're trying to get to it. Get to your horse, check the map to make sure you're headed in the right direction, and head over there. If you're hearing the church bells chiming midnight, you know you're perfectly on time. Do your best not to run into anybody or catch any charges on the way because having police after you will nullify your chances. So we're coming up on the first spot where it might pop up and you can see it's not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go around the block that has the police station. If you're not familiar with what that is, just follow me on the mini-map and you'll see where I'm going. We're literally only going to make one large square. So check your mini-map, no extra turns, left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn until you're back at the same spot. cool thing that happens though is that along this path you come by the second spot where this might pop up and as you can hear the conversation I'm looking for is happening so what you want to do here is take your horse a little bit closer to the blips on your mini map it's a little dark so I apologize for that get off your horse either intervene with this or do not just hop on the horse and take it I must warn you some of these actions are frowned upon uh, either killing the wrong person or in fact stealing this horse will get you a charge, but that's okay. Well, congratulations are in order because you snagged yourself the Black Arabian. Yes, it's black. Last but not least on the main horses on this list is the White Arabian, free roaming horse at this location. This is going to be quite a trek. Role players even use this opportunity to go on day trips and camp and take naps and all that good stuff. What I recommend is making a save when you get in the vicinity so you can try again if you lose the horse. Once you get close enough, it's the same as always. Get off your horse, not to spook the other one. Walk up slowly, calm it as you approach. Get close enough to hop on and tame it. I've actually found that you don't have to stop walking at all. As long as you press the button at the right time and the calm meter never runs out, you'll catch this thing. No special tricks for this or the Black Arabian, just swap your saddles and this baby is yours. It's the White Arabian. Seriously, not really though, the last one. This is the honorable mention I was talking about, the American Standard Bread. The cool thing about this horse is it actually spawns where we used to get the Missouri Fox Trotter. If you know where that's at, you know where to get this baby. It's on the uh, northeastern area of the map near Moonstone Pond. What you're looking for is this interaction right here where a man's trying to pull something from his horse's hoof. That horse is about to be yours. Right, all we have to do is have the lasso ready because this guy's about to lose his life. Lasso his horse, reel it in, hop on it. No taming required, this is already a tame horse. It's yours. Swap saddles whenever you want to. Now granted, this horse may not be an Arabian, or a Foxtrotter, or anything like that, or a Turkoman, but it has no prerequisites. It's free! It's the American Standard Bread. 
I put this guy here because you can literally get it day one.